Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Kai, and I'm back again. It's time to give you another One Piece video, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing Sanji versus Queen. Even though technically the battle has already started, we've yet to get a full chapter or chapters on the battle, but of course that will be happening because at the end of the last chapter, Luffy is finally standing once again up against Kaido, and I think this will be for the last time. I know Momonosuke and Yamato are there, and I think Oda's gonna wanna do something with the three of them versus Kaido before we actually finally get Luffy and Kaido mono e mono, one on one, and obviously to end off Wano. But of course, before he focuses on that, he's gonna to wanna to focus on the wings of the future Pirate King, being Sanji and Zoro, and their battles against Queen and King. Now, I think Zoro's will come of course, after Sanji's, but I think we'll probably get a few small glimpses. But if he's gonna to wanna to focus on Sanji, which I think he's going to, because knowing Sanji and the little hints that Oda's been giving us, I think we've got some big reveals yet to come because as you guys know, Sanji said to Zoro that ever since he's put the raid suit on for the second time, the first time being against page one, and the second time is when he actually saved Momonosuke and obviously tried to fight King, he said that his body's been feeling weird. Now Zoro responds with, I hope it's not bad, but Sanji says, no, 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 it's not bad. It's more so the fact it feels weird. Now, of course, being the son of Judge and obviously all the germ a lot ended up getting modded bodies, Sanji, as we know at the moment, has always remained human. All the brothers, so Niji, Yonji, and Ichiji, they've all been modded to where they have no emotions, but they've been very powerful. Whereas Reiju, on the other hand, yes, she is more, you know, modded than human, but she still has her emotions intact somewhat, especially for Sanji. But for me, and I've been thinking about this, Sanji's body probably will be different. It probably will be modded, but in a different way. I think Sanji is going to be the ultimate being of having a modded body, but also keeping all of his emotions intact, because I think Queen is just gonna go all out, and of course Sanji's gonna have to go all out, because this is one of the Empress of the Sea's commanders, one of the lead performers. This is Queen, alongside King. And then when you look at it the other side, it's obviously gonna be Zoro and Sanji with the future King of the Pirates. So you can see that, you know, it's not gonna be an easy fight. No way in hell is it gonna be an easy fight. Whenever they've gone against each other, they've got like a few blows against each other, but of course, both of them are like, okay, they're gonna go all out on each other. And I'm expecting Sanji to drop the raid suit against Queen before Queen ends up going completely like cyborg all out, because he does mention that. And he mentions not even something Vegapunk could create. And this is Dr. Vegapunk that we're talking about here. And yet you've got Queen saying that to Sanji. And then he's obviously commented on Sanji where, you know, how do you got like a heated leg? Is your leg part modded? And yet Sanji replies with, no, I am full human. And then he says, well, I know you're not a Lunarian. And of course we know that King is a Lunarian, but we can't really rule that out. I don't want to rule that out. And I know it sounds silly because, you know, Queen has commented that, but it's just the way that, you know, when Oda drops stuff, it's in bold letters about not being a Lunarian. But then when you think about to Marco and hearing, you know, the conversation he had with Whitebeard about Whitebeard telling him that there was like, you know, a group of gods at the top of the red lion, and then it's showing like, you know, King's race and Lunarians. I don't want to rule out Sanji possibly having some connection to a Lunarian because it's just weird how it's in the same chapter and it's right next to each other. And when you look at Zoro and you look at Luffy, of course, there's the whole, you know, wings of the Pirate King and, you know, Zoro, see the whole Ryuma stuff. And then I feel like Sanji's gonna get it as well. And Zoro actually has Conqueror's Haki and I do wanna address a situation on Conqueror's Haki later with Sanji. But for the time being, I think that when he puts on this raid suit, I think he will have the advantage over Queen because we've only seen very small glimpses because during his fight with page one, Sanji was still getting used to the raid suit. He needed to know what he could do with it and he knows what he can do, but since then it has been modded. But let's see what he can do with the modded suit. Let's see how it alters his body because we could get a very, very powerful Sanji. Now I'm not saying Sanji needs the raid suit to be powerful, because I think after he's taken off the raid suit at the end of this battle, his body will be fully modified, so he'll be a lot more stronger than he was 
before this battle, but I think obviously with the rate of it, it does amp him up and it does help him out when he needs to, you know, go invisible. But during this fight, I think it's just going to be very like even because when you look at it, Queen is very powerful, Sanji's very powerful, and neither of them are going to want to give up because, you know, Queen's going to want to get rid of Sanji, obviously, to protect Kaido to show that he's still worthy of being a lead performer and being alongside, you know, Kaido. And of course, Sanji is pushing so he can get to his dream and also push Luffy towards his dream as well of becoming, you know, the king of the pirates. And he's mentioned that so many times and so has Zoro. So you can see that they know they're getting closer, but they know what they're going up against. And Sanji is not gonna sort of, you know, let anything get in the way. I don't even think of any women, not even like Nami and Robin. Now that he's got his sights set on Queen, I think if they arrive, yes, he's gonna protect them, but he knows that they're gonna be fine because obviously Robin's with Brooke and Brooke is looking after her. And of course, Nami's fine. Like Nami's doing her own thing, obviously with Usopp. But Sanji's got nothing now standing in the way because everyone else is stopping them. Like everyone, who's on the good side now is stopping everyone that's on Kaido's side from getting in because they know this is going to be a big battle. Regardless of that, I think once all four of them go off, that's going to be it. Like, you won't even see anyone around. I feel like the battles will move out of the way, but I love it how Oda's put it on the performance floor. And I think that when he showcases Sanji's abilities alongside Queen, Sanji is probably going to get the better running of things. We're going to see a lot more. I think we're going to get bigger reveals, as I said, the whole Lunarian. Possibly, of course, we get to see what the rain suit is made of. I still think he'll hold some things back, but I think we will get a lot more than what we got against page one. And I think it will be too much. Even when Queen has, you know, gone all out, Sanji's still gonna prove too much for him. And I think this is going to be Sanji's awakening. How we have the devil fruit awakenings, this is gonna be Sanji's awakening. His body is going to awaken and it's taken Queen to actually do this because obviously he's got to put on the Ray suit, but also because of King as well. So Sanji has got a lot to shine here with Oda just doing whatever he wants during this fight. Of course, he has got plans for the future, we know this, but I think he's got so many surprises in store for us that this could potentially, for the time being, until we get to the end of One Piece with Sanji's final battle, this is no doubt gonna be Sanji's best battle. And I know people, especially me, this is probably my favorite battle of his, is against Jabra, because it was cool. The first time we got the introduction of Diablo Jumbe. Now let's see the proper reveal of the race suit in action against Queen and him just going all out. Now, of course, I did say I wanted to touch on Conqueror's Haki. I know that people are not expecting Sanji to have Conqueror's Haki. And I myself am not expecting that because yes, Zoro has Conqueror's Haki, but we knew that, we knew that was coming. Of course, there may be hints towards Sanji eventually getting it. Is he going to have it in this battle? Maybe but then probably not at the same time. Of course, when you look at the Straw Hats, Luffy, Conqueror's Haki, Zoro, Conqueror's Haki, Yamato, because I've always said that Yamato is going to join the crew, has Conqueror's Haki. And of course there is Jinbei. Now Conqueror's Haki is not the be all and end of when you've got three people on the ship. But, this is the big but, what is to stop Sanji having Conqueror's Haki, especially with the connection if there is a connection to the Lunarians and the gods as they're so called. But we don't know if King has it. I think if we see maybe, maybe if King has it, then there is a chance. Not saying every, like obviously that race, all of them are gonna have it, but I don't wanna rule it out because Sanji is part of the Monster Trio. It's always been certified. Whether he gets the Conqueror's Haki or not, he will always be part of that, but with this new wave that's come out, which is the wings of the future Pirate King, I don't think it really matters if he gets it. I think if he does have it, that's gonna be epic because we'll get to see Sanji use it. And I think if he does use it, he's gonna have the same response as Zoro. Like, what are you going on about? Like, Conqueror's Haki, what, huh? But if he doesn't have it, as I said, it's not gonna be the be all and end of because I think with Sanji's awakening, Oda is gonna to wanna to save a few things. We could get it later, like Sanji could unleash it later, but for the time being, I think Oda is gonna to wanna to showcase off the raid suit as much as possible before moving along to something like that. 
and if Sanji's body is going to be fully modded after that to be the perfect human yet modded human at the same time with someone who's managed to keep his emotions in check while having, as what I say, the best rave suit. Stealth black, sober mask, whichever you want to call it, it could have a different name after he uses it properly. He might not want to call himself sober mask, he might want to call himself saying, I don't know, maybe he will go with stealth black, or maybe he's got something else. Maybe he'll call it black leg, because we know that he was he likes to call himself black leg Sanji, and we've got the raid suit, which is stealth black, so he could just call it you know, black leg, raid suit. I know it sounds silly, but you guys know he likes to be known as that. Because of the fire, because of King, the Lunarians, if you want to tie all that together, we've got a lot to unpack here. And I think Sanji may potentially have the better battle than Zoro in that sense. But I think overall Zoro will have the better battle because he's got Emma and obviously he has the Conqueror's Haki aspect to his name. I will talk more about that in Zoro's video. But with this one, I am very, very excited. I think even though we've got Luffy's battle coming up and that's the one that we're all waiting to see, Sanji fans are desperately wanting this fight as much as I am. I really am and I'm very, very excited. A little bit more excited than Zoro's fight, but knowing me, when I see Zoro's fight, I'm probably gonna have a more even like level of fights depending on how this goes. But I'm expecting quite a few chapters for this one, I think. These two battles, so Sanji's battle and Zoro's battle, I think will take up most of Act 4, if I'm honest, and then Act 5 will finish off with Luffy versus Kaido, because I think Act 3 is going to end very, very soon. Probably within the next two chapters, something is going to happen, and I think that is what we'll be doing going forward, going into Act 4 with those two battles, which I think will be the best thing. So overall, guys, yes, I'm very, very excited for the battle. Hopefully, we'll get it within the next couple of chapters that we'll see a full-on battle, and we'll just get to see Sanji just kick Queen's ass literally off of Onigashima and we'll see him fall. But we'll just have to wait. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Make sure to smash this video with a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What are you expecting from Sanji versus Queen? Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Smash the notification bell so you guys never ever miss a post. And I'll see you guys for the next video. So until then, see ya.